This video is for my brothers and sisters out there who may be a little bit naive like I used to be. Yes, my brothers and sisters. I used to be a bit naive or what they call green. Um, it's a, a lot of us out here, you know, who have really good hearts. We have good hearts, okay? And so we, I know I used to be like this, um, you know, walking around thinking that everybody was like us or is like us. And my brothers and sisters, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but unfortunately, everybody is not like us. And so I really believe that God allowed me to encounter certain people, aka certain beings, just to show me how wicked this world really is. Because I really was like, really not, you know, really thinking that everybody was like me at, at one point in my life, my brothers and sisters. And so I'm here, like I said in the beginning of the video, to let my brothers and sisters know out there who have good hearts and who may not be aware um, yet that there is wickedness in this world that there is wickedness in this world, my brothers and sisters. And I'm talking about not just wickedness, but wickedness to the 100th power, my brothers and sisters. See, um, when I was growing up in the church, um, and you may be the same, you may have grown up in a church like I did, you know, they just focused a lot on um, Jesus coming back. And how we need to, you know, get ourselves together before he gets back. And so we never really learned a lot about Satan or his army. Um, nothing about witchcraft or anything like that. And so I'm not, you know, down in the church or anything. I'm just telling the truth about, you know, what I was taught or how I was taught. And so... Um, Later on in life, growing up, you know, as I became an adult, I started um, encountering certain individuals who showed me, okay, that there is real wickedness in this world, okay? And these individuals, I'm talking about, it can be your, the, the person that you sleeping with. It could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It could be your mother, your brother, your sister, your friend, your cousin, your homie. It could be anybody, my brothers and sisters. And so I just want to, you know, let y'all know, if you don't already know, that it is real wickedness in this world. I'm talking about it get real wicked with these people, some of these people, where they are doing witchcraft, spells, all type of stuff, all type of manipulation, okay? And so open your eyes and pay attention and go with that gut feeling, okay? Your intuition, because that will never lead you or lead you astray, my brothers and sisters. It will never lead you astray. Stay connected to the most high, true and living God, okay? Because he will never lead you astray. That is what that intuition, that gut feeling is. That is him, okay? That is one of the uh, ways that God communicates with us. And yeah, just pay attention, my brothers and sisters. Stay connected. Stay connected to the true and living God because there is true wickedness out here. And if you are not covered in the blood of Jesus, I'm telling you, it, it won't be good for you. I just got to be real with it. it. It won't be good for you. It's so much wickedness. And um, as I was speaking about in a video like yesterday or the day before, you would be surprised who is even doing these type of things towards you. 
It could be your own family, your own um, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, mother-in-law, you name it. And so you have to protect yourself. And how do you protect yourself is by being covered in the blood. By having that relationship with the most high, true and living God, my brothers and sisters. And living a repentant life. Because yes, we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. But if we are not all repenting, then that leaves the door open for Satan to be able to wreak havoc in our lives and to be able to possess us. So I just really wanted to come on here real quick. And say to my brothers and sisters that everybody does not have the heart that you have if you have a good heart. I had to learn this the hard way. And it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because that was a part of my journey. Everybody does not have the heart that you have. Everybody does not think the way that you think. And so stay ahead of the game. Pay attention. Beware and stay connected. Because when you connect it, it ain't nothing that the enemy is going to be able to get over on you. And if he is able to get something over on you, you can guarantee that the Lord allowed that just to teach you a lesson, just to grow you in God. So with that being said, I love you all. Y'all keep, you know, and I'm not trying to tell you not to have a good heart. Oh, no, you keep your good heart, but you be aware of these wolves out here in sheep clothing. That pure and good heart, oh, that's very necessary. Even though the world sometimes would try to make you think that, you know, that is not. But, oh, it's very necessary because when you have that, God can bless you and he can pour out his spirit more and more upon you to give you that power that you need to be able to bulldoze um, over these witches and warlocks and, and demons and Satan. So I love you all. Until next time, this is your sister Fire. Hmm?